Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Some ask what it would be like if spirit could come down and visit you. If you could have a meeting with the creator and not be vaporized in the process, one on one, you and God, what would it be like? And the answer is, it would be like what we teach is your privilege. There is an energy on this planet right now that many have anticipated. And the energy is this, that you would be able to capture a greater portion of that which you call God inside than ever before. And that as it is captured, your life starts to shift. Dear ones, consciousness that works on itself is contagious. If you start that journey of learning more about that which is inside, of how you can be more joyful and how you can be out of fear, when you start that, we have said before, it's like exercising a muscle. Feels good. You want to continue because you get results. Those who start on themselves to capture the God inside and know more about it start to get results immediately. And the reason is because that is what you're here for. It's not an uphill battle. Literally. It is what you're here for now. It lays there waiting for you to consider it. Some have said, well, cry and you speak metaphysically, esoterically. What's the practicality of this? What do I do? Dear ones, I cannot at any time define who you are individually, for you're so unique. Therefore, I cannot define what you with you is going to be like. What is the process of self-examination for you? And I'll tell you the truth that some of you have no idea and have never done it. You're just learning it's possible. And that's what I want to talk about. There is a battle, and the battle continues. The battle has always been with dark and light on the planet. And on this planet, that quotient has begun to change and shift in favor of the light. That is why the wild cards are here. That is why there's so much turmoil and unexpected things happening. It is a war between light and dark, finally, where light is indeed starting to show itself slowly. And that has been the battle. But as the darkness starts to lose on the planet, it sees another avenue. It turns to you. Dear ones, you are old souls and you are filled with the lack of self-worth that we have described over and over. And you are ripe for the darkness to come here and tell you you're nothing. So you'll believe it. It starts to turn inward, this battle on this planet. Although the darkness is losing, it's not that stupid. And it knows that you are always in doubt. There'll come a day when the old soul is in no doubt at all. That is the battle that is beginning to be fought. Some of you have noticed 
The cycle of you feeling good and bad about things is getting wider and longer. You'll have more up times and the times that you're depressed will be deeper than before. The cycle of duality itself is starting to adjust. And it will continue so that you find the medium and middle point that suits you best. And in the past, you just were. You simply existed. There wasn't much choice because you didn't feel the ups and the downs quite as much. And now when you do, it's startling. And you know you're going to have to choose. We've talked about the fence sitters. There cannot be any more of those who say one thing and do another. If you try and you are in denial about yourself, it creates dysfunction and dis-ease. You won't last long. And we have said this before. You cannot play around with these spiritual energies. You cannot say your one thing and go out and do another. It will not suit the spiritual part of the DNA of the body anymore. I told you that I wanted to talk about things that go bump in the night. Now if you ask almost any human being in this culture what that means they'll say well Cryon is going to talk about ghosts. No I'm not. I'm going to talk another kind of bump and I want to talk about the night and what it means. The night is a metaphor for the darkness. When it's night time and there's no light, it's more conducive to being frightened, isn't it? If you take a look at the stories that's, that scare you even today, they're at night. They have to be. Night is a metaphor. It's where there is no light. It's a place where you go, sometimes when you sleep, sometimes not. And you're in that place where there's nothing to grasp, where there is no light. It's a place where fear lives. Some of you are all too aware of the night. Old souls, listen to me. You've had your share at night. Oh, you have been there where there is no light at all, where there's no hope at all. Some of you have heard the cries of those you love around you, leaving the planet. Some of you have waited for your deaths to be the next one. You know all about darkness, fear, night, it's in the Akash. And what happens to you quite often in these days is that when night, the metaphor, comes upon you, your Akash gets overactive. And it starts to fill you with fear. Nighttime, the metaphor, has no redemption. You can't go anywhere and find light when it's dark. There's no sun yet. Pure nighttime in the desert. Only starlight and that can be covered with the clouds and you can't see a hand in front of you. Night. Darkness. No redemption. No light. Nothing. And that festers everything that's scary. And what is it that is the scariest thing for you? Dear ones, the only activity you're going to get 
at night is going to come from you. Fear begats fear. And what happens is you become afraid of things and you start the list. <laughs> and the list comes from that which is in your Akash. And you build it and you build it and you build it. Night is simply darkness neutral without light and you are the active part of it building something which we're going to call the bump. The bump in the road that you are building in the dark that's everything you're afraid of. What situation do you have in your life? Everyone here, even that one who is channeling, what situation do you have in your life which you can add upon which is dark and you can worry about, whose outcome is going to be dark in your mind because that's the bias of the old soul's Akash. It never turns out, it never turns out right. There's no redemption. There's no light. Look into your Akash over and over and over. It never works right. And that is what you build in the dark. And there you are. Perhaps you've laid in bed awake in the dark. And the Akash comes forward and says... You know the situation is not going to turn out well, is it? And you start building the house of darkness. The windows and the doors are built with fear. And you're packing the house with bad outcome. And the result of it and what you're going to be left with after that's over. It starts to attract the chemistry in your body of fear. Then you can't sleep at all. I know who's here. Dear human, this is part of the test of recalibration. It doesn't end there. You build the bump. It's all you. It's nothing to do with the darkness. You now have created it from the dark. And then the sun comes out. And whereas you should feel wonderful about everything, whoa, here is the sun. I'm glad that's over. Unfortunately, the bump is still there. And the reason is because you created it. It didn't come from evil spirits. It didn't come from demons. It didn't come from otherworldly influences. It's you creating the bump. And then you pick it up and you carry it to work. You carry it to school. You carry it wherever. You carry it on errands and you continue to worry. Dear ones, the darkness on this planet counts on you to create your own bump and carry it with you. So that you don't move into the light. So you cannot think above the bump. So you can't see God inside. You've got a health problem? How's it going to turn out? Tell me about the bump. I already know. I know what you're thinking. Things that go bump in the night, I'll tell you, more old souls create a bump than anyone else. So let's get rid of it. It's time for you to understand that no matter how dark you perceive anything, any situation in your life right now, no matter how big is the bump that you have created and carry around on your shoulder, no matter how big it is, God is bigger. And that's what you've got in abundance in your life right now and the difficulty 
of taking the bump and dissolving it cannot be looked at lightly because all of your lives are invested in the bump you need help it's a good thing you got it in this energy the benevolence the field the consciousness that is here that is part of the new you wants to fight this with all the light that you can have but dear ones there are some of you invested in the bump you love the bump you wouldn't be you without the bump and you tell all your friends about the bump this is my problem you say here's how it's gonna come out you say you verbalize it and so it remains you're proud of it here's what's wrong with me you'll tell your neighbors here is the hospitals that I've been in here's what the doctors say woe is me you say I know who's here did you ever think that those words were your own sentence did you ever think that the words that you cast out so lightly again are like an order in a restaurant I'll have this I'll have that thank you and here it comes right on schedule here is your order ma'am sir it's time for you to find the magnificence of God inside ready to dissolve the bump and it doesn't take that long if you will start giving instructions and placing the order for your health for benevolent outcome of your situation if you'll start telling other people what's going to happen in a benevolent way I have solved this problem I don't know how yet it's going to happen but it is around the corner and I'm going to be free of it celebrate with me I'm going to be free of it everybody who comes in contact with you your verbiage is positive about your life and the bump starts to go away and even in the darkest moments even at night light starts to show itself because that's your natural state you carry your own torch in other words it's never dark where you are it's never nighttime wherever you are you cannot quench the light of God you cannot stop the eternalness of what is inside you you have been here forever and will be here forever there was no end and there is no beginning of that which you call your soul and that is filled with light in this energy no more nighttime you create the bump from bad habits of not understanding that light is at your beck and call and time is going to be on your side dear ones practicality verbalize everything you say to anyone else just like you're placing the order and the more you say it and the more people you talk to about it the quicker the bump goes away there are still those who are so invested in it that they even have to decide whether they want to do this or not this is free choice and it will remain free choice the dear ones you can carry the bump with you forever that's free choice if you want it but the difference will be this those who continue to wallow in that which is drama and fear will not live near as long as those who don't there is something happening with the youthing process itself in the human body it looks for 
and expects joy, benevolence, and balance. It looks for a coherence with itself that does not fight with fear. And when it sees the coherence, you live longer. You start youthing. The telomeres don't shorten near as much from year to year. You can see it in the mirror. And you know it's working. How often do you laugh? How often do you laugh at yourself when nobody's around? If you don't, you should think about it because you are really fun. The joyful human being will smile at themselves in the mirror. And they'll look, even point, and say, I see God in you. A benevolence that starts to occur that is beyond what you have called human nature. Psychiatrists work with this constantly. Their entire job is to get people to balance. And I'm telling you that you have this inside. In spades, as they say. That's what is most prevalent right now in this new energy. Doesn't matter how long you lived here, who you think you are, or what you think you can do. It's new. And it's there. Because the balance of dark and light is different today than it was four years ago. The invitation to heal is here. I know who's here. I know who needs the healing. It's not going to be frustrating. It doesn't have to happen the way you think. Chase away the fear. All disease is in the consciousness of the human being. You think it's cellular, it's cells responding to the consciousness of the human being. Sometimes it's written in the Akash. Sometimes you think it's a contract for you to be ill. It isn't. Contracts are in invisible ink and it's time to change them all. The contract that is new is that I'm here to enjoy this life without disease. I'm here to be balanced, to be joyful. And to live a long life because I deserve it. I have God inside. This is new energy. And I'm part of it. That's the truth of the day. It's the message of Cryon and so many others in this new energy. That old souls have got to wake up. And get out of the old paradigm of the bump. Don't let things that go bump in the night be you. It's time to change it. When you wake up, and the little voice says, what are we going to worry about today? I dare you to create a positive affirmation, and it will dissolve any negativity. Right there. Say back to it. I am a perfect being of God inside made by the creator to be perfect in his image of perfection and that's who I am and the negative thoughts won't have a chance visualize light in your body from head to foot feel the chills that can accompany the victory of having slain the bump yourself could it be any clearer what we're speaking of here. Old souls universally. Free choice. But what a choice. What magnificence. What power. What light. Discover it. Use it. See it. Share it. And that's all for now. I know who's here. I know who's listening. And I know which one of you it's for. And so it is.